Hey, Rollin' Yogis. Today is part of our self-love month. We have an awesome little hip opening sequence. So grab your mat, grab a couple blocks if you need to, and meet me on the mat. So we're just gonna get started here, gentle breath connect, and then we're gonna find a little bit wider tabletop. So we're gonna take the knees away from the arms just a little bit more. And we're gonna do some nice big hip circles. So go ahead, shift your hips to the right, and then bring them over to center, over to the left. So really opening up through both sides of hips and then sitting it back a little bit. Two more rounds this way, shifting it to the right, center to the left, and back. Right, center, left, and back. And we'll find our opposite direction, so take it to the left. Center, right, and back. This is also a great little um, exercise here to think about the weight distribution in your hands that we oftentimes talk about. So grip into the mat with the fingertips if you need to. One more here. Make sure you're breathing. And then bring it back to center. We're going to take the knees nice and wide, big extended child's pose. So sit those glutes back to the heels really opening up through the inner thighs. Deep in the breath, big belly inhale, full belly exhale. And then from here, we're gonna softly start to roll up. We're gonna take the right shin up parallel, not coming into pigeon quite yet. We're gonna drop to that right hip, coming into more of a Z-sit stretch, really opening up through that left hip flexor. So you're onto your right glute, not sitting completely square with the mat like we would in pigeon, which we'll get to later. And if you'd like to deepen this side hip flexor, you can take the right hand out to the side, take the left arm up and over. It back to center and we're going to softly come back to our hands curl the back toes under lift the back knee step it back into your tabletop pose and then we'll go to the other side so left shin is parallel for this you sit stretch I've got Chloe in here with me today helping me out and if you'd like to deepen it you can take that left arm out, right arm up and over. Whenever you're ready, make sure you're breathing nice and deeply into that tension. Our hips are one of the tightest regions of our body. We harbor a lot of stress, a lot of emotion here. In the essence of self-love, let's just try to really let go. Coming back to the hands, curling up onto the back toes, lift the back knees, send it back into tabletop. Now from here, we're gonna walk our hands out a little bit farther, curl the toes, push your hips up into your downward facing dog. So pedal it out a little bit here, push the ground away with the hands, lengthen through the spine, allow this moment to feel good. And on your next inhale, you're gonna fly the right leg high, Bend the knee and see if you can open the hip, taking the right foot out to the outside edge of the left glute. If you'd like to, you can take some uh, ankle circles here. Warming up through the foot, really opening up through that hip, balancing the weight distribution in the hands, squaring the shoulders as best you can. And then bring it back down. We're gonna bring that knee into chest and then step the right foot through to your low lunge. Softly come down to the back knee. So we're gonna be stretching again through that front hip flexor, that psoas muscle. So when you're ready, when you find the balance in the feet, go ahead, draw the hands up to the top of the thigh. Deepen that stretch, try to keep that front knee over front ankle. And then if you're ready and you feel stable, you can lift that back knee, toning up to the core, deepening the stretch softly lowering the knee very gently, bringing the right hand down to the mat to reach around, see if you can grab that back foot. Be kind to the knee, only 
only do what you can. Options for you. Softly release that foot, no slingshots with the foot. And then we're gonna take it back into our half split. So sending the glutes back to that back heel. And then we'll take it forward to a low lunge. Opening up through the chest, make sure you continue to shine that beautiful heart forward. Exhale as you move back to a half split. Inhale as you shift forward to a low lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Curl up onto the back toes. Send that right leg back into three-legged dog if you can, feeling the sensations on that leg. And then bring it down into your downward facing dog. Breathing here. Let's gently take it to the other side, lifting left foot up, bend the knee, open the hip. Take some of those ankle circles if you'd like to. foot through. Coming into our low lunge on this side. So again, broaden through the collarbone, shine the heart forward, balance through the feet. When you're ready, softly float the hands up to that thigh, feeling the stretch in the hip flexor. reaching for the foot today, maybe. And breathe here. Softly release that back foot, no slingshots with the foot. Sit it back into your half split. Really lengthening through the back of that hamstring. So we have to balance the effort here. Inhale as you bring it forward, shine the heart forward. Exhale, send it back to your half split. As we stretch through the front of the body, we have to balance and stretch through the back of the body as well. Inhale, bring it forward, really connect to the breath. And exhale, send it back. And inhale, bring it forward. And exhale. I'm gonna plant the hands, curl the toes, send it back into your three-legged dog feel the sensations on that leg and then bring it down into downward facing dog pedal it out for a moment to reconnect we're gonna fly the right leg high bring that knee in towards the chest we're gonna parallel the shin coming into pigeon pose now if pigeon is not in your practice you can bring it back to the back Bring that right ankle over left thigh and then pull it in, figure four stretch or reclined pigeon. So just stay on the hands here for a moment. If you want to intensify this stretch, you can parallel the shin a little bit more, working that foot up to the corner of the mat, or you can bring that heel a little bit closer in to that straight leg so it's not so intense. Wherever you are, just breathe. Really feel the opening here happen. Now shining the heart forward if you'd like to, coming up into a little bit more of a proud pigeon, bringing the hands to your side. Be cautious here of the low back. Make sure that you're not feeling it too much in the low back. And then if you'd like to, you can reach around, grab that back foot again, deeper hip flexor stretch. Softly release that foot, and then gently surrender to sleeping pigeon. Coming down to forearms, you can forearms to a block. And just breathe, keeping the breath nice and deep, nice and circular, so nice and consistent breathing. Float the palms up to the mat. We're going to curl the toes, tuck, lift the knee, excuse me, take that right leg back 
into three-legged dog and then downward facing dog. Opposite side, inhale the left leg high. Exhale as you tone the belly, bring that knee in towards chest, parallel the shin, and then see if you can sit into pigeon on this side. So find your pigeon. Squaring the hips, intensifying the stretch if you'd like, or leaving that heel nice and close in towards the straight leg, and just breathe here. If you'd like to walk it back into Proud Pigeon, take the arms back, be mindful of the low, the low back. And then if you'd like to, you can reach around, see if you can grab that foot, deepening the stretch. This is also great for opening up through the shoulders a little bit here. Softly, slowly lower that back foot. And then gently come down two hands and then down two forearms. Nice. Sleeping pigeon surrendering fully here, letting go. Breathing deep. Softly plant hands, curl toes, lift knees, send it back into your three legged dog. We're gonna come up to toes, bend the knees, step forward in between hands. Inhale for a nice little half lift here, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, bend the knees, fold, and then we're gonna start to sink the glutes and start to sit it back to the mat. So gently coming down to the glutes. Lifting up through the heart, we're just going to softly roll back to our backs going into a little bridge pose. So bring the heels really close into the glutes. Roll the shoulder blades towards one another, pressing the triceps into the mat. Softly lower the hands. And then from here, slight tilt in the tailbone, that's your first action. And then pressing the ground away with the feet, start to lift the hips. Going as high as you'd like to here. If you want a little bit more of a stretch, a little baby back bend, chest opener, See if you can walk the arms underneath you, interlace the fingers, press the forearms into the mat and lift up. Think about bringing chest to chin, not chin to chest. You don't want to move your neck in this position. And breathe. Softly, slowly release on a nice full exhale. And then go ahead, bring the thighs up into belly. Give yourself a nice big ball hug here. You can rock from one side to the other if you need to, massaging the low spine. And then we're gonna take it into reverse butterfly or reverse cobbler's pose, bringing the soles of the feet together, knees nice and wide. practice deepest gratitude for sharing your practice with me i'll see you next time